In this SQL Fundamentals video, we're going to look at doing an inexact match on criteria and also doing a uh, value range, looking for values within a range. So you'll need your Oracle account and the HR schema and student teams database, uh, which we worked with and set up in previous videos. Sometimes in the criteria of the WHERE clause, we want something that's not exactly precise. So we want to be able to get, for example, a list of students whose last name starts with a particular letter. To do this, we do what we call an inexact match, and we use the word like and in place of the equal sign. And we follow whatever letters we want to uh, match up exactly with a wildcard symbol, and in our case, we'll be working with the percent sign. You might be familiar with the use of the asterisk as a wildcard character in uh, a lot of Windows applications. So let's query the student team's database and we'll list students whose last name starts with the letter A. And so our statement, our select statement has the columns listed in the select clause, our table is listed in the from clause, and in the where clause we have said that the column of data that we're going to evaluate student last name will be like and then we put in single quotes capital A and then wildcard. That means it must start with A and then anything after that is acceptable. And then we close that with a single quote and close our statement with a semicolon. So when we run this we're going to see uh, that we do have some students whose last name starts with the letter A. And let's try that in SQL Developer. So I have pasted in the command and I'll execute that command and I will get the results we saw in the PowerPoint slide. Student last name Alvarez, Antipoff, and Agassi. So let's do something a little more complicated. We'll look for students whose last name starts with A or with D. So we will create our select statement or select clause, column columns that we want to see from clause, this table that we want to get data from, the where clause. Because I have an or evaluation here, A or D, I'm going to put the criterion in parentheses. So last student last name like A and anything after A, student last name like D, anything after the letter D. And so now we would see the results as we still have the three that we saw earlier, but we've added Davis. Let's try looking for a list of students whose team name ends with DES. And our statement will be this way. It will look like this. Select our columns from students where student team ID like and the wild card is now at the beginning followed by three letters that we have specified exactly in uppercase uh, at, as the ending. And so we can run that query and see the result. And what we're seeing is these are the people listed for system designers. Now I'm going to switch over to SQL Plus for just a second and try to verify this output. And so to do that, I'm not running SQL. I'm simply going to uh, look at my connection for the students. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to look for the connection, uh, the data for teams. Click the data tab. And what I see is I actually have DB, DES, as well as CIS, DES. As it turns out, and this is not an issue I'm going to work on this video, uh, but what we have is we have a team for which no students have been assigned to that team. And that's why we do not see DB, DES. We only see CIS, DES. So actually our output is correct, even though we have two teams that end in DES. Sometimes you want to look at criteria within a range of values and for example, let's say we wanted to list employees with a salary between 25000 and 45000 
the words we use are between with the starting value and and the ending value. The starting values are included in this range. So if someone makes exactly 25,000 or exactly 45,000, that employee will show up in the output. So let's try this. We're going to list evaluation item scores between 70 and 79. So we're work with, working with the student team database. So I'm saying show everything from that table from eval item scores where the score is between 70 and 79. Notice that I don't have to list the name of the column twice. I list it once. Score, between, value, and value and I don't list the column name score more than once. And so the output that I see here is that there are 13 evaluation item records with a score between 70 and 79. Let's look at the HR schema and list employees hired in the first three months of 2005. So the way we might form this uh, query is to add our select clause. So we have the columns we want to display from the HR schema dot employees table and we have listed the hire date column between and listed the date in the standard oracle uh, format of day dash month dash year. And so we've listed the starting value and the ending value. So when we run that query, we will see that there are 11 people that were hired in the first three months of 2005. So let's try getting a count of how many people were hired in 2005, all of 2005, and who make between 5,000 and 8,000 per month. So we have select count asterisk because we're not looking for individual employee data we're just saying how many from hr.employees we've added in the where clause our date range and we're doing everything from January 1st to 2005 through December 31st of 2005 and we're looking at salary between 5,000 and 8,000 so we get a count of five Whenever you do something like this, even though the, uh, the main purpose is to get the count, you should probably do a modified SQL statement just to verify your output. So I've pasted in the original statement and I'll execute that and that will give us our count of five. Right below that I've modified this SQL statement and I've added columns so I can actually see the data. And I can run that just to verify by looking at the date, or the, excuse me, the data within the columns to make sure things are correct. So here I would see hire dates in 2005 and salary values between 5,000 and 8,000. So again, whenever you're doing something like a count, you probably also want to run a variation on that command and uh, just do a visual check to see if the output seems accurate. So what we've covered here is we've looked at using inexact matches with the like, the word like instead of equal, and we use a wildcard called the, or the uh, percent sign that represents a wildcard character. We've also looked at the range of values of between and.